In Graubünden, southeastern Switzerland, deer hunting has a long tradition. Sometimes in the past, hunters were even allowed a longer season because there were too many animals around the national park. You proud? Yes, sure. <laughs> All these hunters are proud of today's spoils. It's actually quite a lot for just one day. The animal was quite slow, so I had enough time to take aim. It died instantly. Each animal is measured thoroughly by the ranger, who takes note of all the data. We're watching the development of the group. When they show signs of weakness, it could mean there are too many animals in this habitat. The ranger wakes up early to check what's going on and that people are following the rules. Up where the forest stops, there are six animals. Hunters are allowed to shoot two or three from this group, maybe. At half past six in the morning, the ranger hears the first shots. It's another deer, far away. Later, he will have to check that one too. But first, there are other things that need checking. In total, over 4,000 deer can be shot. Female deer can only be shot if they don't have calves. Does hunting still make sense? In my opinion, yes. A certain control over the number and size of the animals is needed, or they become weak and ill and also damage the environment. Some like hunting, some prefer eating the game. We're passionate game eaters, so we'll keep the whole animal for us. We'll make good sausages and salami, so we're set for the rest of the year. Some, in spite of their passion for hunting, also show some sympathy for the animals. Shooting isn't the main thing I like about hunting. And to be honest, right after shooting an animal, I feel a bit sad. But then pride and joy take over, and I'm smiling again.